presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Here's Haley Montoya and Asa Costa. And welcome here, everybody, to Austin High School. I am Ace Acosta alongside Haley Montoya. This is another edition of Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Haley, welcome. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Can't wait to get into it. Uh, you, as we got to talk to the coaches earlier, what did you expect you know, from both coaches here? Honestly, I was expecting to hear from both of them, and we did. Um, they're just a great season that's been going on so far they've been doing a lot of good things definitely that I've seen that I've heard and I actually got to talk to coach Bustillos from Riverside and she actually informed me that her and coach Ruby have actually known each other for quite a quite a while now they got to coach alongside each other and so now they're facing off together or against each other so that's that's pretty pretty fun so you can kind of feel that like competitive tension between them exactly sure. as coach uh Coach Bustillos for Riverside entering her first year here at Riverside and Coach Ruby entering year two for the Panthers. And let's take a look at your interviews that you did with Coach Bustillos and Coach Ruby. Let's get to it. Alrighty, I'm here with Coach Bustillos from Riverside. Coach, going into tonight, you have one senior versus their six seniors. What does that conversation look like um, between you and the girls? Well, um, I have a very young team. I have about eight juniors, one senior. No, actually, I have seven juniors, one senior, and two freshmen. Um, they just like accept each other. They help each other out. They play like honestly, they become very, very close. Our senior just came back from an injury, um, and they just taking her in. She did play last year. Sophia Busios, that's my daughter. Oh, okay. Um, but um, I mean, they they've adapted really well with her coming back in you know, playing in the last tournament that we just had, and then last week when we played Horizon. So, awesome, awesome. Yes. So going off of that then, who are some of the leaders on your squad that we can look out for tonight? I would say Zoe Quintana is one of them. Um, I would say Daisy is another one, Diaz. Um, I want to say all of them, honestly. Um, Sofia Samayego, Alizé Dugan, Sharman Rojas. Um, I mean, all of them just play you know, where they need to be, they, um, they, they complement each other. They really do. Awesome. I mean, like on Friday we played Gadsden and that was a good game. And Gadsden's a good team. Right. A really, really good team. And we went right. five sets with them. And just the way they played and they came together and had fun on the court. I mean, I tell them I wish I would see that all the time. But I know, you know, sometimes you get tired. Yeah, but, you're on um, sometimes, you're off sometimes. sometimes. you're off. You know, yeah. we can't be perfect all the time. You're right. We right. wish they were. Progress but over perfection. I've just been so happy with the progress, honestly. Um, I go home, even though, you know, we have more losses than wins. But, you know, I, to me, it's like district, district. That's what I tell the girls. You know, as long as we get better before district, we're going to be okay. And I see them getting better every day. Awesome. Love to hear that. So going into today, what's your kind of biggest goal for the team then? Um, just to play together like we did on Friday. You know, um, I hope that they are consistent. I always talk about consistency. Right. And um, talking on the court and just, you know, again, complimenting each other. Um, you know, pumping each other up. You know, just, um, just playing together. Playing, playing the game of volleyball. Yes, yeah. yes. Awesome. Yes, well, we look forward to seeing that on the court tonight, Thank Coach. You. Thank Good luck. You. Thank you. Thank you. We're here at Austin High School with Coach Ruby. Coach, I wanted to ask, you guys are nearing district play. What are some of the expectations you have for the girls? We have a pretty good team. Um, it's a new team. We only have two returners from last year's uh, team. But we're working hard, and we're just trying to get as good as we can, get ready to play some district opponents. I mean, Urban is a defending champ. Uh, we ended up third place last year, uh, made, the, made, district, uh, made the playoffs for the first time in a while. So That's the so expectations cool. go a little bit higher, just get better. And, uh, do the best we can. Yeah, you got to improve every every year, every season. And I did want to ask, going into tonight, how did you kind of run your practice? What are some of the expectations you have for tonight or some goals you want to well, get? we just finished coming out of the Gadsden tournament. Um, we won the Constellation Trophy over there at Gadsden. And, awesome. Um, played, some, played some tough teams. We played two district opponents at the Gadsden tournament. So we're getting better little by little, and we're working on, on whatever we're having troubles with right now. Early in the season, our troubles were passing. And that's like my forte. Like I'm really big on getting passing better. So um, we also didn't have a clear-cut setter to start the season. So I've got a couple mm -hmm. people who have stepped in as setters, and they've gotten better as the season's gone along. So we just keep working on our passing and our setting, and everything kind of works itself out. 
Awesome, awesome. Definitely something to look forward to tonight. And then last question, you mentioned two returners. Um, are those some of the girls that are leaders on your, on your team? Yes, uh, Ana Carolina Suarez is our returning first team All-District player from last season. Awesome. She, uh, she's our opposite. Um, we have Katie Urbina, our top hitter right now, and Kay Hopkins, a new player who um, played JV last year but never was a setter. And she's our starting setter now. She's at number five. Oh, so awesome. those are the players. And then the other returner is Angela. She's our libero this year. So she's improved a lot from last Awesome. Year. A lot of improvement that I'm yes. hearing. Awesome. Love that for your team. Well, we'll see you out there on the court. Thank Good you. luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Keep your unit in tip-top shape with EP Omega Air Conditioning with maintenance plans, service agreements, and much, much more. Call us today at 915-704-0234. EP Omega Air Conditioning. Presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Here's Billy Montoya and Asa Costa. And welcome everybody here to Austin High School as the Riverside Rangers will battle against the Austin Panthers. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning. We'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Haley. Great squad that we're, that we're going to see both teams, you know, battle for a win here today. Yeah, we're going to hopefully see some great competition, a lot of hustle plays. And I'm, I'm excited to see what these hitters have. We talked a little bit with both coaches. Both of them, were, we talked about some passing, some hitting, some setting, right? But I'm excited to see their power hitters out there on the court. Some great volleyball play. And let's take a couple look at some of the team stats, courtesy of Max Preps here as... We got Riverside and Austin. Haley, go ahead and take it away. All righty. So we're looking at team stats here. And um, we're, we're on, we understand that these stats are only up until today. So, And I, I venture to say that some of the coaches haven't updated every game yet. But for Riverside, we can see they have 294 kills documented, whereas Austin has 188. So not too big a difference, but actually a pretty big difference. And you got to look at the digs right there. Big difference with yes. Riverside coming in at 874 registered and uh, Austin at 461. Big difference there. Yes. Right there and as we get into some of the team leaders for both squads. Here we go as we get ready as both teams are finalizing. Let's take a look at some of your leaders here stats, courtesy of EP Omega Air Conditioning. Yeah, so if we take a look at Riverside over here, we have C. Rojas, number 11 for Riverside, coming in with 66 kills. And we and also, all right, go for it. And as you see, Urbina right there coming in. For the leader for the Panthers, as Coach Rubio, Coach Ruby was talking about, she is one of their top top players for that. Yes, she's, and she's leading in kills and blocks for her team. So definitely someone to look for, look at tonight while they while they compete on the court. Hopkins coming in with 92 assists as Daisy Diaz coming in, registering 136 assists for the Riverside Rangers as both squads look to get ready here. We are ready for tip-off here. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. We thank you for tuning in here. On yes, a nice yes, Tuesday, yes. hot, crazy weather that we had last night. A little rain here and there. Waiting for a nice day today. Nice cloudy day. Still That's pretty bright outside. As Coach Castillo talks with the official getting ready. can definitely feel that chemistry she was talking about as well for her team. Rangers will be in their dark navy blue with their burnt orange as Austin will be in their white with the gold numbers here. Of 
great action here for volleyball as both teams are getting near district play where district is what it's all about to qualify for the playoffs. Yes, yeah, still, still early in the season, but at this point we should all be ready to go finalize that rotation, our positions. All righty. As we wait and here, officials getting ready. Everybody's looking to get set. And it's looking like Austin is going to go ahead and start off this match for us. There's a little confusion on the lineup checks for Riverside. A lot of substitutions take place in the game of volleyball before the game actually starts. Looks like the official wanted to recheck in for some reason. And with that, yes. we'd like to make sure you guys tune in this Thursday as we will be broadcasting Thursday Night Football live from the SAC. Starting off with our Thursday night kickoff show with Mondo, the Monster Medina, and the Hall of Fame coach. You can watch that live starting at 5.30 on epsportsnetwork.com as the Odessa Broncos come into town to face off against the America's Trailblazers. Some exciting stuff in store for you all this weekend. A lot of stuff here. Football is back. NFL will start next week, and we are about to start now here. Tuesday night volleyball. And that's going to be number five, Alize Duran, serving for the Austin Panthers. Oh. And Riverside's going to start off with that first point with a little tip over the net. That would be number 11, Paola Contreras. Right here is yeah. Riverside. Starts us off with that serve. It's going to be number nine with the ace. Shank ace for her team, Daisy Diaz. And we have here that she is actually one of the two freshmen on the Riverside Rangers team. Right here as Diaz gets ready for the serve. Nice serve to that middle back. Received. Nice down ball from number four, Suarez, for the Austin Panthers. Great dig. Freshman for Riverside. Power hit down that line, number 11, Rojas for Riverside. Austin's going to free ball it over. Can Riverside do with it? Deep tip it is received by the Panthers. Tip, sharp tip, and she does manage to get the point for those Austin Panthers. Katie Uri Uriba. Urbia. Austin getting on the board here, and will take over here. That was a great sharp tip to get that point back for her team. And now we have number four, Ana Carolina Suarez, one of the seniors on the Austin Panthers team serving. And a lefty with a deep serve, calling out a bounce. Giving that point to the Rangers. And this is going to be Charlene Rojas serving for the El pa for the Rangers. Great, Great dig there by the Panthers. It's going to be a deep free ball off the knuckles of the Austin Panthers, setting up the Riverside Rangers for 2-1. 4-1 here. Rojas with the Nice, deep to the corner right back. Getting as that number shape. four, Swat is unable to get that ball in play as Rojas will step to the line again, leading six to one here in set number one. Switch it up, going to that left back. Outside for the Panthers. It was going to be Aguirre. Opposite side hit, nice cross court. It is dug up. Picked up nicely by the Panthers here. Oh, and that set was going to be a little too far out for the hitter. And she does manage to get it over, but it's on the outside of the pin, giving it back to the Riverside Rangers. Rangers lead 7-1 to one here in set number one. We are at Austin High School Tuesday night volleyball as that ball is cleared, picked up by the Panthers. Oh, it's 
going to be an over, over set pass and a kill for the Rangers, number 12, Zoe Quintana. Coach Bustillo spoke highly of, of Quintana earlier in our yes. pregame show, showing some skills already here. Rojas with a deep serve to that middle right back. Great dig by Rojas, set to the outside. Down that line, great dig for the Austin Panthers. Oh, good save, good save. Riverside's gonna free ball it over. Oh, and they're gonna call a double on the middle set from number five, K. Hopkins. Austin giving up another point here. Riverside continues as they lead nine to one. I'm sorry, oh, eight to one eight. here. Yes. Great deep ball dug up. Outside to number five, Duran. Great hit to that middle back. Nice little, oh, great put back. There it is. That's going to be Riverside's one and only senior, number 13, Sofia Bustillos. Bustillos with getting the block that and kill. As Coach Ruby will like, want to take a timeout, we'll take a timeout with them. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on epsportsnetwork.com. Keep your unit in tip-top shape with EP Omega Air Conditioning with maintenance plans, service agreements, and much, much more. Call us today at 915-704-0234. EP Omega Air Conditioning. This broadcast is brought to you by Downtown Spaces, El Paso's largest co-working space. Love where you work? Contact us today to become a member. And we're back with the Riverside Rangers, up 9-1 to one over the Austin Panthers. Great. Oh, a little too much power behind that swing for Austin's number seven, Katie Urbia, a leader on this team. Great power, great, great swing, just finding itself too far behind that baseline. And we have number 11, Rojas, serving for Riverside Rangers. Riverside is showing some momentum here early on. It's a free ball over. Riverside, soft tip over. Setter's dump. It is dug up by number two, Sofia Samaniego for Riverside. And a kill from the opposite side, 13, Sofia Bustillos. Great hustle play for Riverside. Bustillo's coming back from an injury, showing some grit here early on in set number yes, one. Set to the outside, great hit. Aguirre for the Panthers. Oh, power hit right on that baseline, number five. Alize Duran for the Riverside Rangers. Duran showing that power, finding that gap for the Rangers here. It's a great reach to put the, keep the ball in play in that hole. Rojas, left back serve. Great play to keep that alive. And it is gonna, the ball is gonna find itself on the outside of the pin once again. Need ball it. out of bounds here, giving another point to Riverside here, leading 13 to one here in set number one. Rojas with the serve to that right back. Great dig. Power hit, Urbia once again. It's gonna find itself a little too far behind that baseline. Austin trying to get into a groove, but that ball is not landing in play. Riverside continues to rack up the points here. Serve right down that middle. Urbia again with a deep tip. Riverside saves that ball nice. here. Great scramble. Urbia from the outside now. Oh, right off that block. Great dig. Oh, it's going to be a little too short of a dig by number five, Duran, for the Riverside Rangers. Austin getting back on the board here, which has been a while, setting the ball up here for number one, Tabitha Marquez. Nice serve to that left back. It's going to be an off pass. Oh, and another. We're, we're playing a lot today on 
on those antennas. It seems like that's the third hit, I believe, that's going to bounce off the antennas or on the outside of it. That antenna is coming into play here. Austin down 14 to three, set number one. As Middle. Quintana gets it, but Austin's able to pick it up. Free ball for the Austin Panthers. Diaz oh, with the set. oh, great double block for that tip. Just nice soft hit. Duran there. gets it, 13 steals. Great dig, Rojas on that net. Great rally by both squads here, keeping it alive. Duran's gonna tip it over. But here comes Austin with a power oh, hit. Right Pick, off that net. Picked up by Diaz, setting it up for Duran. Oh. With that ball's unfortunately gonna travel into the net. Great rally by both squads there. Great pickups, definitely no ball dropped on in this match. Love to see that. As Austin now serve here, great dig by Riverside. Strong hit down the middle for Quintana. Urbia, once again, pushed a little too far out, finding the ball on the outside of the antenna, putting the Riverside Rangers back up 15 to four. As Quintana will now step to the line here and serve the five foot nine junior getting ready as her team leads 15 to four. Oh. Fortunately, that ball is going to hit the net here, giving the ball back to Austin, who trails 15 to five here. If you're Austin, what do you got to do to make a run? Definitely get that momentum on your side, clean it up a little bit. A lot of these points are error forced points. It's not really that the other team's earning it. It's that Austin is making their own mistakes, kind of just giving those free points to the other team. So definitely just minimizing those mistakes. As Bustillos gets that ball cleared over. But Great push. Oh, my goodness. Great hustle for the Riverside Rangers getting that ball over. As Reese will clear that for the Rangers. I mean, uh, Cabral will clear that for the Rangers here. Setting it up for Bustillos. Great ball down that line. Picked up. Austin's going to clear that ball back up. But Daisy Diaz sets it up for Quintana. Great rally we got going on here. Nice hit from Hopkins on the outside. Duran from Riverside. Oh. Picked up, unable diving attempt there by number seven, Uriba for the Panthers. Great play, but ball will go back to the Rangers. And now we have number one, Hazel Zamora, serving for the Riverside Rangers. As the Austin Panthers mascot enters the building here, making an appearance. It's party time. Right there as number five, Hopkins unable to clear that ball over. Riverside extending their lead 17 to five here in set number one. We have Zamora with the serve. Cross court to that right back. Outside set. Great hit from Hopkins. Right off the block, picked up by Riverside. Zamora's gonna oh, clear that. Oh. Austin gets ready to hit it. Oh! Double block by the Rangers, but. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna um, say that the ball never touched the other, the other girls, it was below the tape. So four hits. Four hits, unfortunately, for the Panthers as Riverside extends their lead 18 to five, set number one. Zamora, strong serve to that middle back. Austin scrambling to get it. Oh, it's going to be too tight on that net for the Austin Panthers to pick up. And with that, Coach Ruby will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. Thank you for tuning in. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network.
All righty, and we're back at Austin High School as the Austin Panthers face off against Riverside as Rangers. You, as you see, the Panthers. Baby, it's fast, affordable, affordable plumbing. As you see, the Panthers mascot here in attendance here as Riverside leads 19 to 5. That Panther is buff. He's got the muscle on him. Must be hitting the weight room with the football team here as Austin will get the point here. And that is a Bato counted in the books for the Austin Panthers. Bato alert here. Point after timeout. Yes, sir. That's why you got to call those timeouts. Kind of cut their momentum. Get yours going. So now we'll have number six, Aliyah Esquivel, serving for the Panthers. Clears the net to that short left back. It's down the middle. Great hit. St strong power hit by number 10. Samaira Car Carbal for the Riverside Rangers. Riverside extending their lead as substitutions take place as number 11, Charlene Rojas will check in for the Rangers. Duran with the serve to that deep middle back. It is received outside. Oh, great hit. Number four, Ana Carolina Suarez. Suarez getting the point for her Panthers who trail 20 to seven. Looking to stay alive in this set here. Substitutions take place as number one, Marquez will check back in. Number two, Angela Sigal. Short serve for the Austin Panthers. Over pass and a little small tip by number four, Suarez for the El Paso Panthers here at Austin. Panthers here come in as Sigales will clear nice. that ball over. But Riverside's Quintana oh. set, but met at the net by number one, Marquez. Rack up another point for the Panthers here, trailing 20 to nine. Not going without a fight here in set number one. Sigales with a deep serve outside. Rojas, it is dug up for the Panthers. Deep tip for the Panthers, number seven, Urbia. Great swing, 10 Cabral for Riverside Rangers. Oh, great up. And we got a rally going here. No drop balls. Middle hit, it is picked up. It's gonna be set to the outside for Riverside Rangers. Oh, Rojas right over that. that. Getting that point here, extending the lead 21 to nine. Substitutions take place as Quintana will check back in for number 10, Cabral. And we have number two, Sofia Samaniego, the other freshman with the Riverside Rangers serving. Great serve to that deep middle back. And unable to clear the net, the ball will go back to the Riverside Rangers, 22 to nine. 22-9 here, set number one. Samaniego, the freshman, and also libero for her team. Coming in to serve, cross court, short, nice. And she does get that short serve over. Count it as an ace for Samaniego. Right here, Riverside extending the lead, 23-9, set number one. Samaniego short serve again right off that tape. Austin, down ball hit from Marquez, number one outside. Quintana, great dig for the Panthers. Oh, and a miscommunication between the hitter and setter for Austin. We got set point here coming up for Riverside, 24-9 as number two, Sofia Samaniego looks to close out this set here for the Rangers. Oh, and it's going to be a little too short, finding itself in that net. Looks like I spoke a little bit too soon on that one. Oh, as, man. As Austin will get a point here, 10 to 24, as number five, Kay Hopkins. Nice, strong serve, finding itself short in the left back. Oh, it's going to be an overpass. Great put back, but great dig by El by the Panthers. Great dig oh. right there by Hustle number five, play. Duran, keeping it alive. Hey. As Quintana is gonna close this set out, showing, showing some skill here, finding that empty gap as they will take 
set number one. And with that, we'll take a break here. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning on the EP Sports Network. Save the date. The 2023 McDonald's Basketball Classic is taking place November 30th through December 2nd at East Lake High School. Some of the top-ranked and division champion high school basketball teams and talent from across the country. The McDonald's Basketball Classic, the official sponsor of the EP Sports Network Thursday and Friday night football halftime. Join us for our Sun City Win Nelson Counter Days. On select days, vendors will be on hand to show you some of the latest and greatest of their products and more. You can also enter for a chance to win a gift. Counter Days happen from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on select days. Be sure to follow us at Sun City Win Nelson 915 to find out when our next counter day is happening. Sun City Win Nelson, excellence through service. Hey guys, Coach Ben Wallace. I'm the head volleyball coach here at the University of Texas at El Paso. And uh, we need you to come out and cheer us on this year. We're going to be very exciting. Uh, now more than ever, we, uh, we're chasing this conference championship. And uh, the city of El Paso really loves our volleyball. We are generally one of the best attended teams in the conference, and we need you. So get your high school teams, get your middle school teams, get your club teams, get your grandma, your aunts and your uncles, and come out and cheer us on because we're going to be exciting. Uh, we're going to be very, very fun to watch. We represent the city very well. We're one of the, the smartest teams here on campus, too, with a well over 3.5 GPA. So come out and cheer us on. We're looking forward to having you out. And uh, come down on the floor after the games and introduce yourselves and meet our players. And, uh, and you won't be disappointed. So come out and cheer us on. Go Miners and Picks Up. people need help, people show up. And that is one of the most powerful aspects of what we know as our fighting game community. So if you guys are listening out there, please think about just supporting the cause um, and you know making sure that Raiden really lives as the God of Thunder as he should be. And I think the focus there and spreading awareness where not only could it save his life, but maybe save the lives of many other kids that might have to go through this. Find out how you can help by visiting fightfulrare.org. And welcome back here to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. I am Asa Costa, joined alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo Monster Medina. Riverside picks up set number one here in a very deciding uh, fashion, Haley. Oh, most definitely. They definitely came out ready to play, ready to be aggressive. Definitely took advantage of every, every ball, every point. I love in this match that we are not seeing any drop balls. Both teams are hustling for that ball. Um, it's just a matter of which team is going to make less mistakes and who's going to earn more more points at the end of the day. But overall, great play. Um, yeah, we just need to see a little more aggression on the side of Austin Panthers. But I'm excited. It's still pretty early in this match. Varsity can go up to five games. So we'll see where this next set takes us. As as Riverside will start this set off here in set number two. Yes, with number nine, Daisy Diaz, one of the freshmen, starting this game off serving for us. It's going to serve right over that net to the short left back. It's going to be an out-of-system ball, but it is hit. Great dig by Samaniego on Riverside. Middle hit for the Panthers. Nice picked, short hit off that. Picked up nicely by Riverside. And it is going to be four hits on this on Riverside Rangers. 
So the Panthers are going to start us off here 1-0 to zero as number four, Ana Carolina Suarez. Suarez right here will serve for the Panthers. Great serve to that middle back. Outside. Great Rojas. dig right there Great by dig. number five, Hopkins. Middle, Quintana. Oh, it's up. They do manage to clear that net. Outside once again. Two rivers, sides, Quintana. It's picked up. Oh, great hit, great block, great pickup. Riverside getting ready here, finding that, but Ooh. unable to clear the net, giving the ball and the point to the Panthers here, taking the lead 2-0 early in set number two. Suarez with the serve for the Panthers. Quick set down that middle. Oh, great dig, but it's going to go right back to number 12, Quintana, for the Riverside Rangers, and she's just going to slightly tip it over into that hole, getting them back in this game, trailing one to, to two. And we're going to have number 11, Rojas, serving for us here. And in set one, I believe she served six, six or seven. Six straight, yeah. straight for the Rangers. Great hustle by the, by the Panthers. Oh, power, quick hit by number 12, Quintana for Riverside Rangers. Zoe, Zoe Quintana coming in with the impressive play, tying this set up at two. Two apiece. Rojas with the serve over that net. Great dig for the Panthers. Oh, it's going to be a missed contact for the setter, number five, K Hopkins. Give another point to the Rangers here, leading it three to two. As Coach Ruby gives some last minute instructions to his squad here. Oh, short serve right underneath that tape as it puts us back up three to three. And number one, Tabitha Marcus, a junior for the Austin Panthers, is going to be serving. Great serve to that left back. It's going to be an off ball. Unable to get that diving attempt. Part the Panthers here get another point. Very competitive early on in this set number two. Yes, this is exactly what we needed to see from both both squads here. Duran's power hit off that block, gaining the point back for her, the ball back for her team. Riverside will get the ball back here as number. 12, Zoe Quintana will serve for the Rangers as we are knotted up at four here in set number two. Nice serve to that left back. Outside to number three, Davis. Oh, it's going to be an overpass on the side of the Rangers, but it does land in between the two blockers on Panthers' side, giving it back to Quintana to serve for the Riverside Rangers. Bang, bang, play right there at the net. Point racked up for Riverside. Great first pass to get it going outside. Davis, strong power hit to the cross, hitting cross court. Great dig by number two, Angela Sigales. Sigales as Uriba unable to dive to get that ball back over for the Panthers. Racking up another point for the Riverside Rangers, 6-2-4. Quintana will continue her serve here. Right back to Sigales. She does manage to get it up. Panthers are going to free ball. Cleared by Davis right here. Middle hit. Great block. Big block. Exactly what her team needed. That's number seven, Katie Urbia. Getting the block and the serve for her team. Right here, 5-2-6 in favor of the Rangers. As Rubia will now serve for the Panthers. Great serve down that line to the left back. Roll shot for Riverside. It is picked up. Outside hit. It's going to be Hopkins with a hit down the line as Riverside scrambles to clear the ball. Oh, an overpass for Panthers. Nice little tip, but it is dug up. Pushed over by nice. the Panthers. Smart play by the Panthers to get it over the net. Oh, great dig. 
Sigales. Another great dig. Samaniego for Riverside. Tip by Durant. Durant. Right here as Hopkins going to get that little oh. bit too much power on that one as that ball travels out of bounds. But great play by both squads there in set number two. And a few substitutions on Riverside's part. And we're going to have number one, Hazel Zamora, serving for the Riverside Rangers as they are up seven to five. Great effort by both squads here as Coach Bustillo said she loved the chemistry that her team is showing this season so far. The chemistry, the trust, the way they play with each other, definitely can see it. At, oh. As Hopkins again unable to keep that ball in bounds as it travels out of bounds, racking up another point for the Rangers. Zamora with the serve. Great serve over that net to the left back. Back outside, Hopkins with a tip. It is picked up by the Rangers. Once the, they, oh, the Hopkins is off up. a little. It does find its way on the inside of the pin. Durant, great dig by Sigales. And sets again. It up for Hopkins again. Setters dump. Great put back by Austin Panthers. Oh! Diving attempt, block and diving attempt by Caden Davis, number three, for Austin Panthers. Unable to get that ball over the net here as Hazel Zamora steps to the line here with her Rangers leading 9-2-5 here in set number two. Right down that line to the left side, Hopkins. She's going to tip it over. Great dig, over pass. And once again, a little miscommunication. Confusion going on on the Panthers' side for those overpasses. Not sure who's covering where. So the Riverside Rangers will get the serve again. As they lead 10 to 5. As the motor will clear this ball over, picked up by the Panthers. Hopkins on the outside. Great hit to that middle back. High dig. Zamora sets it over for. Cabral, who clears it. Oh. As Delgado for the Panthers try to punch that ball over, but got stuck in the net, giving a point back to Riverside. Zamora serving to that deep middle back. It is picked up. Hopkins on the outside with a tip, and she does get that point for her team. Good place tip for Hopkins. As the Panthers get back on the board here, trailing 6-11, set number two. And Alaya Esquivel, number six, is going to be serving for Austin Panthers. Great short serve to that middle front. Oh, good put back. Great hit from Riverside. Hopkins oh, going to find it a little too far to her left, unable to clear the net. Giving the ball back to the Rangers here, leading 12 to six. And Alizé Duran, number five for Riverside with the serve. Great serve down that middle. It's gonna be an off pass. Swatters is gonna get that cleared over by Hopkins, but the Rangers are there. Oh, power hit, quick swing from Riverside's number 10, Samaira Cabral. Great swing right there by the Rangers. Take the lead, 13 to six. We'll take a timeout with them. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning on EP Sports Network. Visit 915tours.com. And welcome back here to Tuesday Night Volleyball. 
on EP Sports Network. I am Ace Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina. We thank you for tuning in. And remember, this Thursday, Thursday Night Football returns at the SAC. Tune in 5.30 for the live kickoff show brought to you by Sun City Winelson. And that is going to be a pato point after timeout for the Austin Panthers trailing 7-13. to 13, Giving the ball to number two, Angela Sigales. Also the libero for Austin with the serve. Great pass, great swing. It's going to be tight on that net. Great block. Great block by number five, Kay Hopkins from Austin to keep the ball on her team side. Whatever Coach Ruby's told his team during the break here got their Panthers in this game here, trailing 8 to 13. Back set. Oh. They're going to call that ball in. It's going to be. It's going to be ruled out of bounds from the Riverside Rangers number three, Valerie Weaver, giving it right back to Austin Panthers for Sigales with the serve down that line. Outside hit, Rojas, great dig, Sigales, Panthers. And a lefty hit from number four down the line, Suarez to get the point for her team. Panthers trail 10-13 here, set number two. We are at Austin High School as the Riverside Rangers battle the Austin Panthers. as both teams looking to get some momentum as district play is near. Great deep serve for Sigales. Down that middle, power, quick hit. Number 10, Cabral for the Riverside Rangers. Rangers showing some power Great there. Great celebration. That was as a good one. A, as a good celebration, as you can see, for those that are watching the replay. And Sofia Samaniego, number two. Coming in to serve for the Riverside Rangers. Great serve with that short middle. It is picked up. Free ball by Austin. It's going to be, oh, Samaniego with the back row attack. Great Pick. dig by Sigales. Lefty hit. Cross court Suarez. Oh, Riverside. Yes. And it is going to be a free ball over the net, but it is going to find itself on the outside of the pin. So now the Austin Panthers are trailing 11 of 14 with number, their number five, Kay Hopkins, a senior and leader on this team. Panthers still in this set here as Riverside looks to clear this ball over. Great pass by Sigales. Oh, and a missed contact as she tries to tip it over. That's going to be Urbia, another senior leader on this Panthers team. As substitutions take place as number one, Zamora checks out. As number 13, Busillos checks in. And stepping up to the line is number nine, Daisy Diaz, the freshman for the Rangers. Oh, short serve, finding the ball right in that net. And we're going to have number 15, Annabel Delgado, subbing back in for the Austin Panthers. As lefty, number four, Suarez, serves for the Panthers. Great narrow serve over that net. Quick hit, great big block. It is picked up, dumped over. Outside, Urbia. Oh, and a shank ball. The momentum, the momentum. That's the momentum they need to stay in this game. Great hit by Urbia right there as Riverside unable to keep that ball in play. As Suarez will serve for the Panthers who trail 13 to 15 here in set number two. Great serve down that middle. Back row, Rojas. Great dig by Hopkins. Power hit. Oh, overpass, Samaniego. Back outside, Urbia. Power hit off the block. There As we go. Castillos for the Rangers, unable to put that in the right direction for her, giving the point to the Austin Panthers, who trail by one, 15-14 here in set number two. Suarez. Deep serve to that left back. Outside, senior hit. Oh. Um, that's going to be Bustillos finding the ball a little too low, a little too early on her approach as we are knotted up 15 to 15. 
Suarez with a deep serve Panthers to the outside. Ready. Panthers get ready here. Urbina sets that up for Hopkins. Back to Urbina. Met at oh, the net great. by Riverside. Oh, once again off that block. Number seven, Urbia. Showing Urbia. her power, showing her leadership on this court in set number two. And with that, Coach Bustillo is going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. Thank you for tuning in. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. Join us for our Sun City Win Nelson Counter Days. On select days, vendors will be on hand to show you some of the latest and greatest of their products and more. You can also enter for a chance to win a gift. Counter days happen from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on select days. Be sure to follow us at Sun City Win Nelson 915 to find out when our next counter day is happening. Sun City Win Nelson. Excellence through service. And welcome back here, Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina as the Riverside Rangers battle the Austin Panthers and are trailing 16 to 15 here in set number two. Outside hit, great power hit down that line for number seven, Katie Urbia. Urbi is showing some power here in set number two. She is on fire. She's on a roll right now. This is the momentum your team needs to get right back in it. Definitely everyone doing their part on this side. Great cover for the Panthers as the setter tries to dump for Riverside. Opposite hit, it's gonna be a free ball for Riverside. Urbi on the outside again. Oh, great pickup. Great put back for Riverside with the free ball. <gasps> Oh, falling just outside that baseline. Oh, geez. 18-15, Panthers lead it here. Riverside on their heels here in set number two as number four. Suarez will serve for the Panthers. Great pass. Opposite side, Rojas. Oh, going to be a little too underneath that ball. Finding it's out, it's out, outside of the court. Suarez again. Coming in with the serve. 19-15 here, set number two. Nice switch up on the serve to the right back for Suarez. Oh! And it's gonna be a shank ball by number five, Hopkins for Austin. And a good put back by 11, Rojas for the Riverside Rangers. And Riverside getting the ball back after a while as Austin was on a roll there. Oh, just off that tape. Managing to pop over that tape and getting the Riverside Rangers back in this game, trailing 17 and 19. As number 11, Rojas gets ready to serve. Great pass for the Austin Panthers. Nice tip. Urbi at number seven for the Panthers, getting the ball back for her team. As substitution takes place here for both squads here. And we're going to have number one, Tabitha Marcus, serving for the Austin Panthers. Great deep serve, great pass by Samaniego. Power hit, great dig. Sigal outside. Oh! Great swing by Urbia. Just a little too far out. Oh! They are giving the, the point to Austin. The line judge is going to call a touch off the block for that hit. Giving the point to the Austin Panthers. 21-17 here in set number two. Great power hit. We thank you for tuning in here to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. As Riverside gets ready to clear this ball over. Great pass by Suarez. 
outside. It's going to be an offset. Does get it over. Great dig by Marcus. Outside, Urbia. Oh, and that one's... A little bit too much yeah. power on that one. Giving the ball back to the Rangers who trail 21 to 18. And we have number 12, Zoe Quintana, serving for the Riverside Rangers. Nice short serve to that left back. It is picked up. Oh, and it's going to be a double for Hopkins on the set. Riverside continues, continues their serve here. 21-19 as they trail here in set number two. Quintana with the serve down that middle. Opposite side hit and tip for Urbia. It is picked up outside Durant. Oh, oh. Picked up by the up. Panthers. It's going to be a hustle play for the Panthers, not giving up on a single ball. Great hustle. Oh, man. That set's going to find itself a little too tight to the net. Riverside. Yes. Fighting their way back into this set here, down by one. Quintana, short serve left back, dug up. It's going to be a free ball by the Panthers. Middle, great tip, great dig for the Panthers. Another free ball. Outside Durant. Great dig by Sigales for the Panthers. Oh, great rally we got going on here. And it's going to be four. Yes. <laughs> As an energetic coach, yeah. Ruby there. Definitely fighting for every point, without a doubt. We'd love to see it. Love to see it. 22 to 20 as Austin will now serve, looking to close out this set here as number seven. Ria clears the ball over. Great deep serve picked up by Samaniego. Oh, off that block. <laughs> Number three, Caden Davis with the block for her Austin Panthers. And with that, Coach Bustillos for the Rangers will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. You are tuned in here to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. Hi, it's Jackie here. Follow our social media accounts at EP Sports Net. Fabian's fast, affordable plumbing, heating, and cooling, and refrigeration. The official sponsor of the Hall of Fame coach, Tony De Calva, Keys to the Game. This broadcast is brought to you by Downtown Spaces, El Paso's largest co-working space. Love where you work? Contact us today to become a member. And welcome back here, Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina. We are at Austin High School as the Riverside Rangers are battling the Austin Panthers. We are in set number two. Austin coming out strong in this set, leading, looking to close out, Haley. Yeah, definitely the competition we came here for. You see it from the fans. You see it from the girls on the court and the coaches. Love to see this intensity. And again, not a single ball drop. That's how you know those are those great games, great competition between the two squads. As Austin clears this ball over, Riverside dies to keep that ball alive. Duran with the put back. Hopkins on the outside. Oh, and Samaniego tries to dig up that ball. It's going to fall right off her shoulder. And then it'll be game point, set point for the Austin Panthers. Something very unique, obviously, volleyball with their chance after every point scored. And the Austin Panthers feeling alive once again as number seven, Katie Urbia, a senior and leader. Urbia. Oh. So, I, what he's saying is that he, uh, R1, the head ref, had blew the whistle and they have five seconds to serve. So he said he blew the whistle. 
So for you football fans, you equivalent to delay a game happening here <laughs> yes. as Riverside looking to stay in this game here as Coach Ruby is looking for an explanation as they lead 24 yeah. to 21. And you know, I, I got to admit, I didn't notice him blow the whistle unless he blew it right after the timeout, which normally you wait to until the girl has the ball, the player has the ball. But here we are back in the game. Outside, Hopkins with a hit off the block. Great River, dig. Riverside Outs looking to set it up. Free ball by the Riverside Rangers. Outside, Hopkins with the tip. Great dig. Outside, Durant. Oh, and it is going to fall outside the baseline as the Austin Panthers take set number two. 25 to 21. And with that, we'll take a break here. We are knotted up at one set apiece. Thank you for tuning in to Tuesday Night Volleyball, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. We'll be back after this commercial break. Join us for our Sun City Win Nelson counter date. On select dates, vendors will be on hand to show you some of the latest and greatest of their products and more. You can also enter for a chance to win a gift. Counter days happen from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. on select days. Be sure to follow us at Sun City Win Nelson 915 to find out when our next counter day is happening. Win Nelson, excellence through service. Hey El Paso, is acne throwing you off your game? CW Aesthetics specializes in the treatment of teenage and adult acne with proven results and a high success rate using the Face Reality Acne Program. We offer in-person treatments as well as a virtual acne program to fit your busy schedule. At CW Aesthetics, we believe in being the best version of you every day. Contact us at 435-668-0319 to start your journey towards clear skin today. The 2023 McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament takes place from November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. The McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament is a one-of-a-kind boys and girls tournament that not only features top talent from local high schools, but also from schools throughout the nation. So make your plans for this once-a-year fun-filled event. It's the McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament, November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. Back here to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo de Monster Medina. For those tuning in on the replay, you saw that video of Aaron Jones. Him and the Green Bay Packers look to kick off the season next, next week as they will travel to Chicago to face the Bears. Chicago? The Chicago Bears here. And your UTEP Miners will face off against Northwestern. That's Saturday before. You can tune into Monster Medina on the sideline reporter there with the legend John Teicher on the mic there. Minor football back in play. A lot of fun. Lots of fun. We are having a lot of fun here as we enter set number three. The Panthers knot it back up at one set apiece. Haley, your thoughts off of set number two? Definitely, as a coach, you, you got to admit, for the Austin Panthers, set one, it was a little rough. They were still a little cold. Didn't come out ready to play, but set number two, got themselves fired up, had that momentum on their side, and even when they lost it for a few, able to gain it back and ex execute to get that win, tying us up at one apiece, set-wise. Riverside clawing back, but unable to finish it out as oh. diving attempt there by number 11 for the Rangers. Wow, Rojas great. Um, unable to get that, 
giving the first point of the game to Austin. And it's going to be number five, Kay Hopkins, a senior and leader for her team. Nice, right, so and it's going to be a double touch for number one, Hazel Zamora of the Riverside Rangers, putting up the Austin Panthers two to zero. Hopkins, cross court serve. Oh, shake ball. Great hustle on the side of the Rangers. Austin coming out with some momentum here in set number three, leading three to zero. As Coach Bastillos gets some orders for her team here. Nice serve to that right back outside, opposite hit. Oh. Oh, great. Hacker's able hustle to clear play. that with a couple diving plays here. Oh. As number 11, Rojas' hit travels too far out of bounds. Giving another point to Austin Panthers here. Panthers keeping that play alive. Off of one hand, one, one arm, one handed passes too. That was, it's exactly why you don't give up on balls. That's, that's that hustle you need to see on the court for sure. Play to the whistle as they say here as Riverside exactly. looks to clear this ball over. Oh. Finding the gap is number nine, Daisy Diaz for the Rangers. Nice, off that block. Slowing down the momentum of the ball, falling right in the hole of the Panthers. And the freshman, Diaz, with the serve. Great power serve to that right back. Middle hit, oh, they are gonna call a double on number five, Kay Hopkins. Which, when we got to talk to Coach earlier, he was talking to us how they don't have a, a setter that's a true Actually, setter. yeah, a true setter, and it's her first year setting, so definitely not an easy task as a setter. As we like to say in volleyball, the setter is the QB for those football fans. <laughs> right there is a QB as, as the freshman mm -hmm. continues her serve here as they lead four, I mean, they trail four, two, three. Outside free ball for the Panthers. Outside, Rojas hit, great dig. It's gonna be tight on that net. Oh, joust it out with the dig. Both teams keeping this play alive here. Outside, lefty. Oh. We and got a call here. It looks like they stepped on the line. Yeah, so Suarez, her foot did find, find herself underneath that net. So. That was the call there, giving the ball to Riverside as they're, as we are knotted up for a piece. Both teams showing some grit here, keeping the ball alive on these rallies. Outside, Urbia, great power hit. It's gonna be passed right back over to them. Good on the for hit. the Rangers there to pick it up. Sets it up for her team here as Duran sets it up for Rojas. Great, finding that hole in the back row defense, putting them up five to four. Great sequence there by the Rangers to get that play and take the lead here in set number three. As Diaz continues to serve for the Rangers. Great deep serve. It is dug up outside to Urubia. Urbia. Oh, great play. Uh, Sofia Samaniego, the other freshman as a libero this year, this season, was going to attempt to pass the cross court ball, but found herself, knew the ball was out. The ball was out, so now Rangers get the ball back with a short serve. Outside Urbia, down the line, it is dug up by Diaz. Outside Rojas, off that block. Picked up by the Panthers here. The free ball by Marquez. Back set to the middle hitter, great dig. Number two, Sigales for the Panthers. Sigales picking up that hit from Quintana, but Quintana Rojas. looks fakes. Great dig, Sigales again. Austin looking to clear this ball over. They do, setting it up for. Back row Bustillos. Gonna find herself under that ball with no snap. Putting the Panthers back in this game, trailing five to six. Great hustle play here. Great defense by the Panthers and great offense 
by the Rangers. Number four, lefty. Oh, going to contact it a little too low. Unable to clear the net here, giving another point to Riverside. And the ball as they lead seven to five. This is set number three here at Austin High School. We thank you for tuning in to the night volleyball presented by EP Omega Air Conditioning. It's number 11, Rojas serving for Riverside Rangers. Deep middle back hit Urbia. Great diving attempt by Diaz, the freshman. She is going to free ball. It over the net as well. Oh, oh. A little collision there by the Rangers here, giving the ball back to the Panthers as substitutions take place. And we want to invite you to tune into the minor round of airing on the EP Sports Network. You can catch interviews that we conducted with UTEP Volleyball's Ali Darley and Chris and Monster. Recap what it was for week one of UTEP football and more. As number five, Dudan unable to clear that ball for the Rangers, racking up another point for the Panthers, tying it up. Seven all here, set number three. Great serve down that middle. Great pass by San Diego. Back row, great double block and a block for number seven. Urbia, key player in this game for the Austin Panthers. Urbia meeting Quintana at the net. Back and forth play. Great deep serve from Marcus. Great pass, Samaniego outside Durant. Great swing, you can see the power behind her wanting to hit that ball, but he's gonna miss contact, misplace the ball and find it in the net. In the net it goes right here as Austin continues their serve here, leading nine to seven. As did almost get that again, but unable to mm. find her mark. Is Riverside racking up another point for the Panthers. We now take the lead 10 to 7. Marcus with the serve once again to the freshman Samaniego. Oh, diving attempt by the other freshman setter. Daisy yes. trying to get that pancake, but unable to get that ball cleared over the net. Number one, Marcus with the serve. Samaniego Diaz with a bump set. Durant. Clears the net. Oh, oh, miscommunication for the Austin Panthers. Let's see who's getting the second ball. As the out-of-system ball as the setter was out. As substitutions take place as number two. Number 12, Zoe Quintana serves for the Riverside Rangers. Serving to that middle back, setting it up for Urbia on the opposite side. Great hit by Bustillos on opposite side for Riverside. Urbia from power hitting side. Oh, great put back for Riverside with the free ball. Sigales, bump set, power hit, Urbia, great dig. Pick, Riverside Rangers. Picked up by Ooh. Cardenas. Great rally by both squads here. Annabel Delgado definitely doing her part in the back row for her team. Oh. And the Austin Panthers unable to clear the ball over the net, giving it back to the Riverside Rangers, trailing 9 to 11. Quintana with the serve to the deep left back, and it is going to be a shank ball for her, counted as the ace. Another ace there for Quintana and the Rangers, who are fighting their way back up here, trailing 11 to 10 in set number three. Quintana to serve to that left back. Good pass, Zubia with the, Urbia with the tip. Daisy middle, hit quick, great power swing. Oh, and Picked up by Austin, able to clear that ball. It looks like they will do it again here. Ball. Once again, 10 off the block. And they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna call the Riverside Rangers underneath the net and the ball off the pin, giving it to the Austin Panthers. Coach Bustillo is looking for an explanation here.
as Austin leads 12 to 10 here, set number three. Urbia with a strong serve to Samaniego in the middle. Off the block, great dig by number four Suarez for the Panthers. Oh. Ball is going to travel Risk out contact. of bounds. The Riverside Rangers, number one, Hazel Zamora, taking over those serving duties. Riverside looking to take the lead here, tie it up. Good serve down that line to the left back. Nice set. Great hit. From the sets, sets it up for Duran, but Austin is there to recover. Opposite side. Great hit, Cardenas for the Panthers. Free ball from Riverside. Setters dumb to that corner, but it is picked up by number 15, Delgado, doing her job in that back row. Doing it beautifully in that back row. Hopkins. Cardenas there. Great hustle, great hustle. Opposite Both teams. Tip. Oh. And they're call, they're going to call number three for the Austin Panthers, Caden Davis in the net. I'm sorry, it was number 15, Daniel Cardenas. Long rally by both squads. We are knotted up mm -hmm. at 12 here. Outside Hopkins. Oh, finding itself a little too underneath that tape. Riverside now takes the lead here for the first time in set number three. Riverside came out in set number one very explosive, but it looks like the Panthers yes. have settled down and this have found their groove. Yes, sir. This is the kind of competition that goes on <laughs> here in the game of volleyball. As the ball travels our direction here. I was ready. Put me in, coach. Put me in, Coach Ace. I was ready. Here we go. As <laughs> we'll have a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Welcome to Artie's Community Corner, a show dedicated to exploring all the great events and programs by nonprofit organizations from all around the world. Sit back and relax and join Artie and friends as they tell all about causes and ways that you can help out too. Artie's Community Corner airing on epsportsnetwork.com. And welcome back here. We are at Austin High School as the Riverside Rangers battle the Austin Panthers Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina. And it's we are back with the Riverside Rangers number one, Hazel Zamora. Power served down the middle back. It's going to be a free ball for the Panthers. Get this rally started. Opposite attempt off that tape. Oh! Great um, saving play for Riverside's number three, Valerie Weaver. As I said, it was a little too far outside of the pin, but does manage to put it back in, getting the point for her Rangers, setting them up 15 to 12. Both teams have a set of piece here. Remember, it's the best of five as Austin looks to clear this ball over. Great dig, Zamora outside Durant. Great dig for Suarez outside of Hopkins. Oh! Austin going to find that gap in the defense to pick up the point and get the ball back. Substitutions take place as number six for Austin. That is Esquivel will substitute in and take over for the Panthers. Great short serve to that left front. Sliding play to get that ball over by Weaver. Oh, lefty. Oh, it's going to bounce off of that pin once again. These pins are have a big role in tonight's matchup. I think on both sides, pretty equally finding themselves a little too far on the either on the outside of the pins or 
The ball is finding itself right on the pin. 16-13 in favor of the Rangers here as Austin looks to clear this ball over. Picked up nicely by Riverside. Sets it up for number Rojas. 11, Rojas. Oh, and that's center's a, dumb. That's a campfire. Learned that term there. Everybody looking at that <laughs> yeah. ball as it drops right in the center. Yes. As Austin will pick up a point here, trailing by two. Still in at number two, Sigales with the serve. Overpass. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. In the game of volleyball, once you touch that ball once, you can't touch it again. It has to be another player, unless it's a block and you can pick up your block. But in that instance, Marcus was going up for a hit for the Austin Panthers and double tapped du it. Double there, gives the ball back to the Rangers double. here. Double dipped, yeah, exactly, exactly. Great cross court hit to keep it in play. Oh, it's gonna have to be a free ball by the Rangers. Deep ball, great spot to put it. Lefty Suarez from the outside, hitting that cross court. Quick middle, oh! Zamora to Quintana, finding that gap, getting a point for the Rangers, leading 18 to 14 here. Riverside looking to get set number three under their belt here at Austin High School. And Sofia Samaniego is gonna go ahead and serve. I think the court is wet, so they're going to have to clean it off real quick, clean it up. And with that, like I said, we want to remind you to tune in this Thursday for the live kickoff show happening at the Socorro Student Activities Complex as you can tune in to Mondo de Masa Medina, the Hall of Fame coach Tony Grijalva as they preview this week's high school football games and the Thursday night football game between the Odessa Broncos and the America's Trailblazers as coach Noe Robles will get his first game as head coach at the sack. All this and more starting at 5.30 p.m. And like I said, you can watch it live on epsportsnetwork.com. We'd like to thank Sun City Nelson for providing that opportunity for us. Haley, what does Austin have to do to get back into this game here? I think it just goes back to minimizing their mistakes. They kept that momentum, kept that energy in set two, and clearly they took it. So you need to go into this game with that same mentality. And again, if you're down by one, if you're down by 10, you have to keep the same intensity, the same hype for your team, the same, oh, the same motivational drive, you know? As Rojas gets oh. it, but picked up by Austin. Pushed over quickly, but Riverside's there to react. Great hustle by both teams. And they are going to call number five, Hopkins, in the net. Trying to block that ball. Hopkins there. Riverside, another point here. 19-14, set number three. Samaniego with the serve. Deep middle back with a good drop. Hopkins, oh, off the block for Riverside. Deep, oh, beautiful deep corner tip for number seven, Urbia, placing it right in that open corner. Urbia finding that gap in the defense, keeping her Panthers nice alive here, trailing 15 to 19. As number five, Hopkins clears this ball over for the Panthers. Outside, Quintana. Cross court hit outside Urbia. Oh, Marcus is gonna take over that ball. It's gonna be a hustle play and dump for Riverside on ball two. Urbia with the tip. A little too easy for Riverside to pick up there. They were ready and waiting for it. Oh, it's high a good hit. thing. High yeah, hit. it's Oof. a good thing we got those high ceilings. Ceiling not a factor in this gym here as Quintana gets oh. it, but picked up by Austin. We're Great gonna, digs going on here. Marcus off the block. Oh, it's picked up. Free ball. To Donna with outside. the quick block. Oh, off of that block. Urbia manages to earn that point for her team. Quick block by Quintana right there, but Austin was able to recover and find the empty gap. Coach Ruby's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Hey guys, Coach Ben Wallace. I'm the head volleyball coach here at the University of Texas at El Paso. And uh, we need you to come out and cheer us on this year. We're going to be very exciting. 
uh, now more than ever, we, uh, we're chasing this conference championship and uh, the city of El Paso really loves our volleyball. We are generally one of the best attended teams in the conference and we need you. So get your high school teams, get your middle school teams, get your club teams, get your grandma, your aunts and your uncles and come out and cheer us on because we're gonna be exciting. Uh, we're gonna be very, very fun to watch. We represent the city very well. We're one of the, the smartest teams here on campus too with a well over 3.5 GPA. So come out and cheer us on. We're looking forward to having you out and uh, come down on the floor after the games and introduce yourselves and meet our players and, uh, and you won't be disappointed. So come out and cheer us on. Go Miners and Picks Up. And welcome back here to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina. We thank you for tuning in. As the Panthers look to get back into this set here, trailing 16-19. <gasps> Great play oh. by the Rangers picking up the point here. Substitution is going to take place. Rain, oh, man. Rangers get the 20 point mark here, set number three. Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm still catching my breath from that gasp. <gasps> and the freshman, number nine, Daisy Diaz, serving for the Riverside Rangers. Great narrow serve down that middle back. It is picked up. Panthers will free ball it over that net. Quick set, great dig by Panthers. Quintana trying to get that there, but they're going to set it back up for number 13. The Free steals. Ball. Outside. Oh, middle attack from Marcus gets it over. Middle again, Quintana. Outside, Urbia. Rojas nice right there. They're going to return the favor. Rojas. Great dig. Sigales for Panthers. And that ball will go to the Rangers here. 21-16. Set number three. Remember, we are at the best of five. Diaz with the serve. Short serve. Oh, great dig. Great dig, but it's going to fall right on top of her. That's going to be number seven, Urbia. Great hustle, great dig, just too not enough for her team to pick up. Not enough air on that one as Riverside and the freshman Diaz clears, oh. tries to clear the ball as it hits the net. Panthers still in this set, trailing 22 to 17. And it's gonna be number four for the Panthers. Suarez, lefty for the serve. Waters with the serve, deep right back. Samaniego with the pickup. Oh, shank ball and hit. Oh. Um. High ceilings, basketball reports in effect. Both teams still yeah. playing. Rojas oh. gets it. Oh. Picked up by Austin. Rapid fire plays by both squads. Deep tip, Rojas. Great, great put back. Oh. Hard hit by the Panthers. Ball travels out of bounds. Giving it to the Rangers and number 11, Charlene Rojas, outside hitter. Great serve to that middle back. Right in the middle for Urbia to tip in that hole. It is dug up outside to Duran. Met at the line by the Panthers. Quintana's, nope, nope they're going to fake it to her. Oh. And it's going to be a little miscommunication, but they make it work. Riverside getting that point, and it is set point for the Riverside Rangers, 24 to 17, with Rojas serving. Power serve. Oh, and it's going to find itself way too far right. Austin still in this set here as they take over, trailing 24-18. Substitutions take place as number 15, Daniela Cardenas, will check in for number 11, Charlene Rojas of the Rangers. Great serve by Marcus down that middle to Samaniego, outside to Duran. And they're gonna give the set point to the Riverside Rangers calling 
the Panthers in the net trying to block that ball. Panthers in the net there give the set to Riverside. With that, we will take a break as we will enter set number four. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. We'll be back after this. Hey, El Paso, is acne throwing you off your game? CW Aesthetics specializes in the treatment of teenage and adult acne with proven results and a high success rate using the Face Reality Acne Program. We offer in-person treatments as well as a virtual acne program to fit your busy schedule. At CW Aesthetics, we believe in being the best version of you every day. Contact us at 435-668-0319 to start your journey towards clear skin today. The 2023 McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament takes place from November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. The McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament is a one-of-a-kind boys and girls tournament that not only features top talent from local high schools, but also from schools throughout the nation. So make your plans for this once-a-year fun-filled event. It's the McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament, November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. Rhino Group North America, a worldwide leader in industrial supply, located here in the borderland. Rhino offers a comprehensive range of industrial and commercial grade equipment, supplies, and tooling needed to maintain production flow. Our team of experts can help you find what is needed to get the job done right in any line of work or job site. We are more than just a supplier, we're your problem solver. Visit us at www.rhinogroupnorthamerica.com. much more. Call us today at 915-704-0234. EP Omega Air Conditioning. And welcome back here to Austin High School Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina running the cams here. Haley, great set number three by both squads. Riverside able to squeak out that one and pick up the two to one lead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watching these games, it's great seeing both sides of the both sides of the net because both teams, both squads are hyping each other up and they're there. One girl makes a mistake, her teammate's right there next to her, telling her it's all right, we're gonna get the next one, even when they know it's their mistake. Hey, that that was my bad. Great set, we'll get the next one together. So it's great to see that chemistry on both sides of the court. I think what it just is coming down to for this match tonight is gonna be which team is making, who's making the, the least amount of mistakes on the court. Mistakes it is here as every point counts here. This is Tuesday night volleyball as both teams get ready to, to go. We got the Austin Panthers mascot in attendance here. We are in Panther country here, one of the oldest schools in El Paso here. Is it? Fun fact of the day, I did not know. It's one of the, not the. Well, yes, of course, of course, one. One of, and we have Riverside starting us off here, number nine, the freshman, Daisy Diaz, with the serve to the middle back. Great dig. Urbia with the free ball over the net. And a miss set as Bustillo's great dive by number two, Sigales for Panthers. Great reach. Great play by both squads, keeping oh. it up. And that oh. ball's gonna fall right there on the line. Left back, cross court hit. And I believe that was number 11, Rojas, for the Riverside Rangers, getting the first point of this match. We are in set number four, best of five here. Austin High School, Rangers, Panthers. Urbia with the 
roll shot, but it is dug up by Samaniego. Oh, diving attempt by number two, An Angela Sigales for the Panthers. Sigales unable to get under that one. Hoping for a pancake, but no pancake there. Diaz with the serve. Great put up. Middle Marcus with the tip. It is picked up by the setter for Riverside. Outside to Rojas. Great dive. Number six, Esquivel. Power hit. Urbia to Samaniego. Oh. Here got a violation here. Foul. Um, refs, refs are going to. So the R1, he's going to call that she was in the net. But she, in fact, from my view, she just hit the pole, and that's what touched the net after she had touched the ball. As the officials are going to discuss it, and while they discuss it, we want to remind you to tune in Friday for the doubleheader yes. of Friday Night Football on EP Sports Network as San Angelo Central takes a trip here to El Paso to face the Mountwood Rams. And in game two, Rio Rancho heads to the sack to face off against Eastlake. And the refs did talk about it. it. It was a replay. Oh. What? As oh. There. Um, they're going to call a double with that tip. Um, or. It's a double there. Yeah. There were substitutions, but. Riverside still continues to keep this ball here in set number four as they lead. Oh my goodness. A little confusion going on here early in this four to fourth match. Four to one now. As Austin will now take over as substitutions is number 15. Delgado will check in for the Panthers. And number four, Suarez will serve. Lefty, oh. Contacting it too low, finding it right in the net. Riverside up five to one as number 11, Rojas, gets this to serve for her team. As you stated earlier, Austin in set number one had those errors giving three points to Riverside. Yes. So far in this set, same things going on here. Outside hit number 15, Annabelle Delgado for the Panthers. Put back over by Riverside. Marcus from the middle hit. Little offset hit. Bustillos roll shot and ace. And we had another campfire. Another campfire there as all the players looking as that ball drops right in the center. Not a good place to have a campfire here. Definitely not. This is no time for s'mores and chocolate milk. Oh, great hustle play to bring it back for the Austin Panthers as they free ball the shank ball they had. Quick middle hit for number 12, Quintana, but it is dug up. Oh, it's gonna be put right on the net. Unable to clear it. Delgado with the opposite side hit. Great play by Austin to keep that ball alive, running towards the sideline. Cheerleaders had to get out of the way, but overall, Riverside will still pick up the point after that rally. Rojas still serving here for the Riverside Rangers, and an ace, rack it up for Rojas as she gets that ace in the left back. Eight to one here, set number four. Riverside looking to add to their score here. Rojas with a deep middle back serve. Great pass for the Austin Panthers tip. Urbia, it is dug up, overpass on ball two. Urbia able to make it happen with that overpass slamming it right back down, earning the point for her team, getting them back in two to eight. Panthers needed her to get on a roll here as she did in set number two, as Austin trails eight to two here. Marcus with the serve to the middle back. Oh. It's gonna be a free ball for Riverside. Urbia on the outside. Too much power on that one, as she's unable to find her mark, giving the ball back to the Rangers. Leading nine to two. And we have number eight here, Aguirre. Another senior for the Austin Panthers who just got subbed in as well. 
outside here. Davis to the cross court. Duran, power hit right, right in that hole between the right back and middle back defense, putting them up 10 to 2. Austin looking to recover here as Coach Ruby gives some last minute instructions. As number 12, Zoe Quintana will serve for the Rangers. Great. Oh. It's going to be a miss pass, miss set for the Austin Panthers here. As number five, Hopkins misjudged that ball. And number 12, Quintana with the serve for Riverside. Short left back, it is picked up by Suarez. Free ball by Panthers. Quick hit down the middle, off the block. Number 10 from Riverside, Cabral, earning the point for her team. And with that, Coach Ruby's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him. Thank you for tuning in. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Hey, El Paso, is acne throwing you off your game? CW Aesthetics specializes in the treatment of teenage and adult acne with proven results and a high success rate using the Face Reality Acne Program. We offer in-person treatments as well as a virtual acne program to fit your busy schedule. At CW Aesthetics, we believe in being the best version of you every day. Contact us at 435-668-0319 to start your journey towards clear skin today. back here as patty cake is going on between the Austin Panther mascot and one of the fans here <laughs> as the Riverside Rangers lead 12 to 2 in set number 4 I am Asa Costa alongside Haiti Montoya and Mondo the Monster Medina we thank you for tuning in here for Tuesday Night Volleyball and number 12 Quintana for Riverside Rangers gets the set the serve going and it's Going to be an outside hit. A little too far across the court for number three, Caden Davis from the Austin Panthers. Riverside extending their lead here. Remember, we are the best of five. First team to three. We'll win it all. Quintana, short serve to that left back. Great dig by Sigal. Outside, Urbia, great hit. It's going to be a shank ball. Getting the Panthers back in three to 13. Just what the Panthers need is they need her to get on a roll and she will have that opportunity as she will now control it and serve for her Austin Panthers. Nice jump serve down that line to the left back. Quick middle hit off the block. Once again, number 10, Cabral for the point. On river on Riverside's Rangers point. got some substitutions taking place as number three Valerie Weaver will check in for the Rangers as number one Hazel Zamora will serve. Nice deep serve to that left back. It's going to be a shank ball, but Austin does recover it, gets it over that net overpass. Hopkins puts it down getting that ball back for her squad. Rack up a point there for the Panthers and a scoring update. Socorro takes down Mountwood three games to nothing. Socorro's turning for the best here. Taking down the Ooh. rival Rams. 14 to four here in this set number four as Riverside mm. clears that ball over. Outside, hit lefty Suarez. Oh, great put back. And a little miss pass, miscommunication on Riverside's side of the court, giving it back to the Austin Panthers as they trail five to 14. And we have number 10 serving for Panthers. It's gonna be Ashley Ruiz serving a deep middle back ball. 
Back row hit from Samaniego for Riverside and a line drive hit number four. Suarez for the Austin Panthers as they start to come alive once again. Austin not looking to go away lightly here as they are clawing their way back, trailing 14 to six. Ruiz with the serve. Opposite hit, Duran off the block. Oh, it's picked up. Bang, Great bang, play. play. Hit, it hit Uvina real quick on that diving attempt, but looks oh. like we're going to get a lane violation. A net. Net violation right there. Giving the point to the Panthers. Cut, cutting the lead in half, trailing 7 to 14. Ruiz, deep serve. Oh, and it's going to bounce off the basketball court. And it looks like we had a little mini campfire there as that ball hits the basketball court here. As they trail 8 to 14. Panthers Ruiz, oh. Bouncing right off that, that net. The tape over. Bouncing off the tape over the net but falling just a smidge outside that line. Giving the ball back to the Rangers who lead it 15 to eight. Duran, number five with the serve for the Riverside Rangers. Outside, down the line, lefty Suarez, but it is gonna be a little too far on the left of that line. The lefty trying to find that line, unable to giving the ball and the lead still with Riverside. Oh, and another serve right in, into that net. Nine to 16. That's number two, Sigales, the libero for, Pan, for the Austin Panthers serves. Middle back deep, quick tip from the middle for Riverside. Cross court, down that middle hit for number four, Suarez of the Austin Panthers. Austin still clawing their way here, 10 to 16. Set number four as number two, Sigales, will serve for the Panthers. Great deep serve. Good put back by Samaniego in the back row. Rojas down that middle, oh. Picked up by number 10, Reese, but just too much power and not enough air under that one as that ball yeah. will travel under the net giving the point to Riverside and the ball. And here's Sofia Samaniego, the libero serving for Riverside. Great power serve to that middle back. Outside, Marcus with the hit. Great dive. Oh, oh, diving, great dive by Durant. Diving attempt by both squads. Austin unable to keep that oh, ball man. alive. Riverside now Gets point number 18 here. So Maniego with the serve. Narrow right over that tape. Oh! Block the setter's dump. She does pick it right back up. Riverside. Oh, a little too underneath that ball for Riverside's number 12, Zoe Quintana from the middle. Giving it to the Austin Panthers as number five, Hopkins. Serves for her team. Austin looking to stay in this game here, needing to make a run. Opposite it? side, number three, Valerie Weaver. Which might, be the clear the net. which might be the jump start that the Panthers need here, trailing by six. Score is 18, Riverside 12. Austin, we are in set number four. Hopkins serving to that right back. Outside hit to Quintana, blocked, off the block, picked up by Marcus. Marcus in the middle, hitting down that middle back. Oh, Setters, oh. Another campfire right there taking place Setters as dump. Austin unable to react in time. 19 to 12 as number nine, the freshman, Daisy Diaz will now serve and look to extend the lead for the Rangers. Diaz with the serve down that middle. Great dive, it's gonna be an overpass for Panthers. Outside set, Rojas off the block. 
Oh, off the block and a shank for the Austin Panthers. And a timeout and by Coach Ruby. We'll take a timeout as Riverside leads 20 to 12. We thank you for tuning in to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. The 2023 McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament takes place from November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. The McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament is a one-of-a-kind boys and girls tournament that not only features top talent from local high schools, but also from schools throughout the nation. So make your plans for this once-a-year fun-filled event. It's the McDonald's Classic Basketball Tournament, November the 30th through December the 2nd at East Lake High School. Keep your unit in tip-top shape with EP Omega Air Conditioning. With maintenance plans, service agreements, and much, much more. Call us today at 915-704-0234. EP Omega Air Conditioning. And we are back here. Austin High School Tuesday Night Volleyball. I am Ace Acosta alongside Haley Montoya. And a close game as Riverside leads it 20 to 12. This game brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Great dive as the ball just passes over that tape by the Panthers. Oh, power hit, but it is going to find itself out by Rojas. Just what the Panthers need to stay alive in this set and game. Remember, is the best of five. Currently, Rangers with two sets. Austin with one as number four. Ana Carolina Suarez will set do the serving for the Panthers. And that is going to be a pato point after the timeout for the Austin Panthers. Great timing, just what they needed. Quick set from the middle, it is picked up. Oh! Ball coming right in our face here. Giving the ball back to the Rangers who extend their lead 21 to 13. And number 11, Charlene Rojas will serve. Oh. Counted as the ace, it is gonna be a shank ball for the Austin Panthers, putting the Riverside Rangers up 22 to 13 here in the fourth set. Coach Ruby giving some last minute instructions here as their Panthers look to stay alive in this game, needing a stop. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, it was a great attempt by the Austin Panthers. Just not enough to pick up that shank ball. And it's going to be another strong serve from number 11, Rojas, for the Riverside Rangers. Down to that middle back. It's going to be another shank ball counted as an ace, and that puts us at set point. 24-13 for the Riverside Rangers. Set point for the Rangers here. Best of five. Rojas with the serve right over that tape. Bouncing right off the chest of number eight, Aguirre, for the Austin Panthers. And with that, Riverside will take it three sets to one. When we come back, we will talk to head coach Bustillos of the Riverside Rangers. We thank you for tuning in to Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network, brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. Hey guys, Coach Ben Wallace. I'm the head volleyball coach here at the University of Texas at El Paso, and uh, we need you to come out and cheer us on this year. We're going to be very exciting. Uh, now more than ever, we, uh, we're chasing this conference championship and uh, the city of El Paso really loves our volleyball. We are generally one of the best attended teams in the conference and we need you. So get your high school teams, get your middle school teams, get your club teams, get your grandma, your aunts and your uncles and come out and cheer us on because we're gonna be exciting. Uh, we're gonna be very, very fun to watch. We represent the city very well. We're one of the, the smartest teams here on campus too with a well over 3.5 GPA. So come out and cheer us on. We're looking forward to having you out and uh, come down on the floor after the games and introduce yourselves and meet our players and, uh, and you won't be disappointed. So come out and cheer us on. Go Miners and Picks Up. Yeah. 915 Tours, making dreams come true. 
find the best tour for you. Visit 915tours.com. people need help, people show up. And that is one of the most powerful aspects of what we know as our fighting in community. So if you guys are listening out there, please think about just supporting the cause um, and you know making sure that Raiden really lives as the God of Thunder as he should be. And I think the focus there and spreading awareness where not only could it save his life, but maybe save the lives of many other kids that might have to go through this. Find out how you can help by visiting fightfulrare.org. Fabian's fast, affordable plumbing, heating, and cooling, and refrigeration. The official sponsor of the Hall of Fame coach, Tony Di Calva, keys to the game. 915 Tours, making dreams come true. Find the best tour for you. Visit 915tours.com. This broadcast is brought to you by Downtown Spaces, El Paso's largest co-working space. Love where you work? Contact us today to become a member. And welcome to the, the Tuesday Night Volleyball Post Game Show. I am Asa Costa alongside Haley Montoya as we are joined by Riverside Rangers, San Diego. How was that game right there for you? I think it was really fun. I think our energy was really good. We tried really hard and I'm really glad we won against Austin. Awesome, awesome. And you're a freshman this year and you're the starting libero. Yes, ma'am. What does that look like for you? You're a freshman right now, definitely a leader on the court. You're out there 100% of the time. You're serving, you're doing your job. What does that look like for you as an athlete? What do you continue to tell yourself? Honestly, I didn't think I was going to play libero because my that's not my main position. But honestly, I'm really happy I'm playing it now because it really, like, brings the joy out of me. Like, yeah. it really feels like this, it completes me. Yeah, you could have fooled us, girl. You <laughs> definitely good defense there yeah, for a reason. Thank you. So what did you guys tell the team as Austin came back uh, hard in set number two? What did you guys do to kind of regroup in set number three? Um, I think we really realized that we weren't trying, in the second set, we weren't trying as hard as we needed to, like, be pushing. And we really picked up our energy and, like, tried hard, like, 100% harder. Love that answer. And... You're only a freshman. What is? What do you think the next three years are going to look like for you? I really hope I'll be able to just stay as a libero and just keep, you know, pushing and keep working hard and yeah, put in the work. Thank you, yeah, girl. Yes. Well, good luck. We, we good luck for the rest of the season. Yes. We're going to bring in your teammate number nine, Daisy Diaz. Daisy Diaz. Yeah. Daisy Diaz here. <laughs> Riverside. Thank you. Uh, Riverside having a lot of freshmen <laughs> on their squads here. Oh. There you go. Daisy, yeah. welcome. Hi. How was, how was that game for you right there? Um, It was pretty good. We fought through the end and ended up winning, so it was a good turnout. Now, being a freshman, did you get the jitterbugs, you know, playing at the varsity level when you first oh, came Oh, yeah, in? definitely. First game was horrendous. It was terrible. I was so nervous. It was, yeah, it was not one of my best games, definitely. <laughs> how would you compare it to this game? Um, It was better. I don't get as nervous anymore because I know what to expect now. But, like, the first game, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how the girls were going to play. And, like, the audience was insane. Awesome. Yeah, tonight, definitely, too, even when you're back there serving, you can tell you're just in the game. You're focused. Get this ball over. Do my job. Yeah. Love to see it. Now, how were you guys able to calm your nerves when Austin came out in set number two and, and took that game? Um, We just got in a huddle, talked to each other, breathed a little bit, calmed down, and then we just went out and played our game. What, what can you say about your guys' team chemistry? Like you said, you guys are a young squad here playing at the varsity level. Um, It's definitely coming together as we're playing more and more. I realize that we're becoming more of a team and we're coming out to play more. Yeah, you can definitely tell that from our point of view. So, hey, good luck to the rest of the season. And Thank you. The, your next three years there, hopefully you continue Thank to you. be that leader, okay? And we're going to come job. back here with the, the junior Zoe Quintana here for the Rangers. We had a great game. We wish you best. Best of luck, Ms. Diaz, right okay. there on that. Thank you. Good job, girl. Keep it up. As the Austin Panthers <laughs> fall to the Riverside Rangers here.
three sets to one as we bring in the junior Zoe Quintana. Welcome, Miss awesome. Quintana. How was how was that game for you? Um, it was a very good game. We all played really consistently today. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we just talked to two freshmen on your team. You're a junior on your team. Definitely a leader out there on the court, on the bench as well. D we've talked a little bit about chemistry, how you guys play as a team. What does your role look like as a leader for your team? For me, I think it's really about keeping us all together, you know, keeping our mindset like on one goal and that's to win and do really good this season. You know, we really want to build up and that's what we've been doing these past three years that I've been starting. But I think this year, like we have a really good chance to go far. Now, since you started as a freshman, what advice did you give your teammates? Because you are such a young team, you know, I guess overcoming that kind of like, you know, nervousness and, you know, um, nerves coming into the season. I mean, I think w one thing that we've been preaching a lot um, is to play how we know we could play. Um, to your potential. Yeah, play to our potential. Like the way that we play against each other when we're scrimmaging, we need to keep that on the court when we're playing in games. Same competition, same energy, all that good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. And we'll, we want to wish you uh, best of luck the rest of the season. And when we come back, we were going to talk to head coach Bustillo's other Riverside Rangers. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. Say the date. The 2023 McDonald's Basketball Classic is taking place November 30th through December 2nd at East Lake High School. Some of the top-ranked and division champion high school basketball teams and talent from across the country. The McDonald's Basketball Classic, the official sponsor of the EP Sports Network Thursday and Friday night football halftime show. Lord. And welcome back here to the post-game show of Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. I'm Mesa Costa alongside Haley Montoya. We got head coach Bustillos of the Riverside Rangers. Coach, tell us how you're feeling after that win. Relieved. Relieved. I am feeling a lot of relief right now. Um, to be honest with you, I thought they did really well the first set. So I thought, okay, second set. But as you can see, we didn't win the second set, so we ended up going to four sets. But they were just off today. Um, it's the energy, the chemistry that we have to continue to build when we play. Um, but we're working on that, so I mean, I'm just relieved that we won. Yeah, for sure. It's always it's always a good feeling. Yes. Do you think today they they were that one percent better? We talked a little bit prior to the game. You're always here for the girls. You want it to be about the girls. You think that 1% better was Absolutely. achieved today? Um, they ran some things that we have been practicing in, um, on in practice. So, I mean, I think their heading was a little bit better. Um, their approaches were a little bit better, but we still have a lot of work to do. Yes. Yeah. Now, how Absolutely. Is it, what did you tell them after set number two when Austin came back on that role? What did you do to kind of like help get the team or did they do it themselves to kind of, you know? Basically that they had to find it in themselves to finish. I mean, I, I gave them all the advice. My assistants gave them all the advice that we could possibly give them. But for whatever reason, they were really flat today. Like they were just like not having it. But I told them, you all have to find it within yourselves to finish this game. I mean, you know, we got to like they told me this weekend, coach, we got to start before we finish. Exactly. We got to start before we finish. And yeah. well, they did. They finished. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Definitely could see that with your girls. The chemistry right up, definitely there, all of that good stuff. They weren't they were not quiet for one set. Even again, second set you guys lost. Love that they were still energetic and whatnot. Um do you what do you expect? Seeing that today, what do you expect for the like the rest of the season? Well, hopefully um, we're taking it one game at a time. Hopefully the next game will be a lot better than what it was today. I mean, you know, everybody, you know, they're like, good game, you know, good win. But you know, we still need to get better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And our whole goal right now is district. That's our goal. So you were taking one game at a time and just continue to put in the work and get better. That's and last true. question there, you got the history with Coach Ruby on that one. How, how good is it to get a win? Over him. <laughs> you know what? Coach Ruby is a good coach, hands down. I, I can't take that away from him. I, I will never take that away from him. He has more experience than I do. I mean, even though we started coaching, you know, the same year at the same time. Um, but, of course, I had to step away from the sport. But I have a lot of respect for him. And um, kudos to him. I mean, you know, it's hard when you have to build your program without the talent. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, I, I have to give it to him. He's a good coach. He really, really is. And what he's done with his girls is just amazing. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Yeah, they we, definitely we brought that competition. Yes. We, we wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. And thank you. And when we come back, we'll have our final thoughts here at Tuesday Night Volleyball. This is Coach Bustillos for Haiti Montoya. We'll be back. Thank you. Thank you.
keep your unit in tip-top shape with EP Omega Air Conditioning. With maintenance plans, service agreements, and much, much more. Call us today at 915-704-0234. EP Omega Air Conditioning. And welcome back here. Great game between both squads here as the lights are already off here. Yes. Haley, great game. When we come back next week, it's going to be the Socorro Bulldogs at the East Lake Falcons. That's going to be a good game for sure. You talked a little bit about it earlier. Socorro swept Montwood, correct? Three, three to zero. Three to zero. They swept them. So against East Lake, East Lake's another big school. So definitely going to be a good game there. So it'll be good here for Mondo the Monster Medina, Haley Montoya, Ame Socosta. We'd like to thank you for watching this presentation of Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you for watching Texas High School Volleyball on the EP Sports Network. Visit us at epsportsnetwork.com for your source of sports and entertainment.